The Gloucester County Sheriff says investigators with Virginia State Police finished their investigation into a deadly shootout involving deputies last month. 52 year old Willie Giles died and today the sheriff showed reporters body camera footage and 911 calls from the exchange. I was in the room as video evidence depicted the moments leading up to the heated exchange that lasted only seconds. In a room with a handful of reporters, the Gloucester County Sheriff Daryl Warren shared findings from the Virginia State Police investigation into a deadly shootout on March 26th involving two deputies and 52-year-old Willie Giles. He would not allow reporters to capture video or record audio of the body camera footage or 911 calls. But audio recordings captured the moments a woman called 911 that afternoon on behalf of a friend who shared her ex-boyfriend was outside her home with a gun. Moments later, a dispatcher called and spoke to the distraught homeowner who was not home at the time, but could see Giles with her home surveillance. In another audio recording, she identified Giles and told police he threatened to break in, shoot her dog, and then himself. Body camera footage shows two deputies arrive at the home and encounter Giles in the backyard. In the video, you can hear and see deputies shout commands, and almost immediately a shootout ensues started by Giles. Without hesitation, Giles raised a handgun in his right hand, points it directly at deputy two and fires. The deputies then returned shots of their own hitting the man. However, Sheriff Warren said a preliminary medical examiner's report shows Giles died of a self-inflicted gunshot to the head, matching the fatal bullet to his nine millimeter handgun. The sheriff showed reporters the moment investigators believe that happened, saying the medical report shows Giles wounds from the deputies would not have been life threatening. Giles came to this residence with evil intentions and was interrupted by two courageous deputies who miraculously were able to survive his attempts to shoot his way out of the situation. According to Sheriff Warren, those deputies are cleared of any wrongdoing. They've been on paid administrative leave and will undergo psychiatric evaluations before returning to their roles.